Eugene Kimberly Woodford County State's Attorney Greg Minger says he will not prosecute those who violate Governor J.B. Pritzker's stay-at-home order extension. The Woodford County Sheriff's Office is in complete agreement. The sheriff telling me his officers have not and will not take any enforcement action regarding the governor's executive orders. Protecting liberty and freedom for all. That's what Woodford County State's Attorney Greg Minger says he's doing by refusing to prosecute violators of Governor Pritzker's stay-at-home order extension. But Minger isn't the first to stand against Governor Pritzker's revised order. It only allows a few businesses to open, as well as state parks, golf courses, greenhouses, and nurseries. House Republican Darren Bailey <laughs> filing a lawsuit last week claiming immunity from Pritzker's order. My freedoms were being trampled on. Minger continuing on in his statement saying people need to determine what's safest for them, adding if people want to stay open, they should. If people want to open their business, that should be up to them. Woodford County Sheriff Matt Smith says since the beginning of March, he instructed his deputies to take a, quote, soft-handed approach in the enforcement of the governor's executive orders. He says his officers won't take any enforcement action due to the legal and constitutional issues of enforcing the executive orders. State's attorneys across downstate Illinois are navigating how to prosecute violations starting May 1st. I'm not saying, like some of my colleagues have, that it's just a blanket statement of I'm not going to enforce it or I am going to enforce it. In an attempt to stop the spread of coronavirus, leaders with the Illinois Department of Corrections say they released almost 4,000 inmates from prisons, 64 of them convicted of murder. I don't think that if somebody who's trying to make a living by opening their shop and, and trying to make a living, I don't think that we're going to start putting people in prison for that. LaSalle County State's Attorney Karen Donnelly also weighing in, saying her office believes those who disregard the order potentially are endangering others and on a case-by-case -case basis can be prosecuted for disorderly conduct or reckless conduct. On Friday, Governor Pritzker's extended order says people must wear face coverings when going inside public buildings or when a person cannot maintain the six-foot social distance. Also, with boating season right around the corner, if you're looking to get in your boat over the next month, you can only have two people maximum in your boat. 